When you hurt your body, the doctor is not actually healing you. The doctor is helping your body to heal itself in different ways. So you, you get a scratch. Your body below your level of conscious awareness will restore the order. You know, and there's limits. We can't regrow a lost limb. But so the theory that we have in the classic psychedelics is that there's this similar self-healing mechanism in the psyche, in the mind. And that when you take psychedelics, we all know that at night we have dreams. And so there's a barrier between the conscious and the unconscious mind. And under sleep, sort of you have more of these feelings and thoughts. It's irrational in certain ways, but there's kind of an emotional logic to it. So psychedelics also reduce this barrier, the permeability of the barrier between the unconscious and the conscious mind is increased and things come up, memories come up, sometimes body sensations. If the memory is too traumatic or too difficult, a lot of times it'll come in the body. The body keeps the score. Under the, the influence of psychedelics, the therapy approach is to support whatever is happening. And the person's unconscious is the guide. So things that we've been repressed or, or embarrassed about or shameful about or haven't thought about can come to the surface. So you can do processing of split off materials and then also draw strength from this sense of connection. The classic psychedelics are more this ego dissolution and opening up. And then MDMA is more ego strengthening in a way that you become less defensive so that then you can also see the wider world.